All right. So today we'll see how to import this color attribute inside a Redshift material in Solaris. So usually if you are not using Solaris, uh, this is not a big deal. You can just import the attribute using the RS user data RGB. Uh, but uh, when using Solaris, there is a small thing that we need to know. Let's see what it is. Okay, this is the geometry and I just have a grid and an attribute adjust color to create this color. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go into the stage and here we'll import that. Uh, import and we'll just import that geometry. Okay, I'll open up the scene view here, scene tree view. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a scene graph tree. Yeah. So we got the geo and uh, let's drop a material library so as soon as you drop in uh, like you imported the geo the color is there but when you assign a redshift material it's not going to be visible anymore so let's try that uh, let's create a redshift usb material builder and let's go inside that so here is a basic material and let's name it so I'm going to use that material uh, and apply that into my grid. So let's do apply material, apply material, okay, assign material, and here you can just drag and drop the primitives, and the material you can drag and drop here. So we have assigned the material. Now let's go to the redshift render view. Yeah, as soon as you assign the material, everything becomes gray because uh, the material is just overriding the color which we already had. So this is the material and we can see we can adjust the material and let's try to use the user data color. And by default, it's importing the color. Let's try to connect that. No, it's not going to work. There is a small thing we need to do, which is uh, instead of importing the color attribute as CD, we have to use something called a display color. Yeah, if you refresh the view now uh, by clicking the restart render, yep, yeah, as soon as you do that, you got the color from the points so this is what i wanted to show i hope that helps uh, i was searching for this info a lot i couldn't find anything that's why i wanted to share so it can help someone else like me who is searching for the same thing thanks a lot for watching see you next time